Do you want to make your machine tools more attractive? Do you want to offer new services to your customers? And do you want to generate continuous revenue without selling a new machine? If these are your questions, then this session will be very interesting for you. And I'm sure Björn Rosenbaum, our expert, will give you the right answers to these questions. How to add connectivity to the whole shop floor and how to access and process data directly at the machine. So, hello and welcome Björn. We are looking forward to learn more about how to benefit from edge computing on the shop floor. Thank you and hello. And this is it, this is the Cinemeric Edge and how you can make money with this tiny little piece of hardware and your technological know-how, that's what I would like to show you in the upcoming 25 minutes. Well, hardware only is not enough for sure. The magic is inside the software, your operating system, the applications, software development kit to create own applications, a management software, and a digital marketplace where you can order your own applications or sell own created applications in future as well. But why did we do that? Why did we create a system like that? Well, industry companies are facing challenges day by day. They have to increase the product quality. They have to maintain or increase the outcome of the factory and they have to reduce the production costs. This is nothing new for sure. But what's new is that in tough economic times like these, the customers may have limited investment capabilities. So the willingness to do some major investments is low. That's why we have to deal with whatever is already there. Machines that had been delivered five, 10, 15 years ago. There's a lot of potential inside. And I'm not talking about technology only. So we need new ideas for new business models as well. Data-driven services, for instance, that you can sell to your customers. But how should you do that when customer in parallel has some additional requirements like data that need to be gathered and processed directly at the machine? Or a solution like that shall be added to an inhomogeneous environment, means old machines, new machines, different suppliers as well. And while talking about integration, the customer may wish to, to integrate the solution into an existing IT infrastructure, considering um, state-of-the-art security aspects as well. And on top, he may ask for standardized interfaces to connect devices and equipment surrounding the machine. That may also be the root cause for some uh, production issues. How can you do that? with Cinemaric Edge. Modern machine tools produce large amounts of data during the production process. However, this data often goes nowhere and remains unused. Through intelligent processing of the data, essential performance parameters of the machine tool can be increased, such as availability, machining quality and productivity. With Cinemeric Edge, Siemens offers the perfect solution to leverage the data. Cinemeric Edge is a secure and open platform that generates value from data obtained right at the machine. The evaluation of high-frequency data is used to generate a digital fingerprint of the machine. In this way, failures can be anticipated and maintenance work can be optimized. The high-frequency data makes it possible to create a precise digital image of the workpiece and the associated processing conditions. Process parallel data analysis, as well as comparison of target and actual figures, enable a quality assessment during the production. With the help of state-of-the-art technologies, the productivity of the machine tool is increased through higher output and less resource consumption. Cinemeric Edge is always up to date with updates via MindSphere. This guarantees maximum safety and enables the distribution of new applications and features without additional service effort. 
permanent connection to the cloud is not required, depending on the use case. Cinemeric Edge can operate in a local-only state during production. Flexible interfaces enable communication, as well as the data transfer to any cloud and local IT system. The open platform enables customers to develop their own individual applications. Based on that, machine manufacturers and partners can realize new business models. The consistent separation of automation and edge computing ensures maximum safety of the machine operation. In addition, numerous security measures guarantee the protection of your sensitive data. With Cinemeric Edge, you can quickly bring new capabilities to the machine tool for analyzing data, for maximum flexibility. Move forward into your digital future with Siemens platforms. Cinemeric Edge. Secure, scalable, always up to date. All right, what does that mean in particular for you? Let me summarize that with six bullet points. First, there is uh, high-frequency data access, where you can get high-frequency data from the cinematic up to 1,000 values per second for up to 100 parameters in parallel. This leads to a comprehensive data set that analysts can work with and realize modern and high-sophisticated uh, analytics. And if you would like to run these analytics right at the machine, you need computing power, and this computing power will be served by Cinematic Edge. Plus, separation of concerns means this, this, the application is, let's say, separated from the automation process. This means you can run one application on several boxes with several machines connected to these boxes. Only one app for different machines. And the application itself doesn't have any effect on the machine's performance. Point number four, central management. To keep devices and apps up to date, this means you can get firmware updates, security patches, and applications from a trusted single source. And this trusted single source is a big part of our overall security pattern we are offering with Cinemeric Edge. So you just focus on your use case. You don't have to care about platforms, reliability, security, and robustness. That's our job. And finally, we provide an open and flexible system with different interfaces that can be loaded to connect different machines and also to connect the edge itself to supervising systems, to the cloud or to other databases as well. Let me show you how this works with three lightweight examples. I would show the Cinemeric Edge Flow Creator to easily observe and visualize data then analyze my workpiece capture to have a deeper look at the data, to get a more comprehensive data set, and last but not least, the universal machine and technology interface, Umati with Cinemeric Edge, to add modern connectivity to your machine tool system. Let's start with Cinemeric Edge Flow Creator. Just imagine your customer as a, is at the beginning of the digital transformation and facing some issues uh, during the production. So he would like to see some high-frequency data points in a screen to get an idea of what went wrong. So wouldn't it be nice to be able to provide him a solution from abroad that you can install and provide him um, a visualization application without any programming language? This is what Cinematic Edge Flow Creator is all about. Let me show you how it works. First of all, we need to install the Cinematic Edge Flow Creator using the management software in MindSphere. So we need to wait until the download and installation has been finished. That's right now the case. Then you can reach the application using the IP address of the Cinematic Edge with a proper extension, and you can see the user interface right away. On the left-hand side, there, is, there are some pre-configured nodes to interact with the Cinemeric Edge internal data bus to read and write data from and to Cinemeric and to use the centralized logging service of Cinemeric Edge. More details could be found on the right-hand side. 
And in the middle of the screen, there is an example flow. And let's just add this message node. And with the message node, you can see what's coming in. And there are a couple of values already flashing in. So the green nodes are to do some computing stuff. And the blue one is the final UI, the final chart we would like to see. And now we are looking at one dedicated parameter. And this parameter is the encoder value of the first axis. And I would like to see a 10 seconds history in our chart. So with the same IP address and the extension UI, I can reach the chart itself. And enabling it, I can see this encoder value from the first machine axis is coming in. So far, not bad. But I'm interested in a couple of more data because first axis is not enough. I am extending all that stuff to second and third axis as well, means x, y, z. And just add these links here to the flow. And when updating the chart, then suddenly all of three, these three values are being displayed. That works very well. It's a little bit nervous from my point of view, so let's add some different configurations to the chart to make it more relaxed. Let's spend one minute of history, then it should be a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, that works pretty well. And all of that stuff will be engineered during runtime, means the machine is doing his job in parallel without any problems. All right, um, to maybe see a little bit more inside the data, I need to scale up a little bit. That's why I just add a scaling factor to all of these three data points. And this could be seen here, so there is a huge step. And I'm just increasing the amplitude of each parameter to maybe figure out better what went wrong inside the data or inside the production itself. All right. So everything seems to be fine. So now just assume that your service department in, is going to export this kind of pre-prepared flow, sends the flow via email to your customer, and your customer then can use the, the other way around to import the data flow to his machine, to his Cinemaric Edge device. So it's select the JSON file. This is the particular flow. And there's a second tab. So let me just delete the empty page here. Uh, there it is. So this is the imported flow. And what, what does the customer has to do? So it just needs to enable the message box so that he can see that there are some values coming in. And furthermore, he could just use the prepared chart as well and see, can see some, some values, right? All right. So the best case is the customer already gets an idea of what went wrong. But what if not? If not, then you need much more data. But you want to go there. But you don't want to go there. <laughs> you need to save some, some travel expenditures. That's why Analyze My Rupees Capture comes into the game. And Analyze My Rupees Capture offers a more detailed and comprehensive recording and exporting functionality for these kind of data sets that the customer can create and can send to you via email as well for a much deeper analysis at home. And how this works, I would like to show you at a more detailed example. So uh, just imagine your customer calls you because you would like to increase the productivity and reduce the overall manufacturing time for his mold and die part. So the question now for you is, can you provide some optimization hints to your customer that based on the data sets that allows him to improve his productivity? Yes, for sure, you can. Let's have a look at it. So it starts again from scratch. The application is already installed, so we are logging into the Cinemaric Edge device. 
with our login credentials. The landing page shows the installed apps, and with the Open UI button, we will end up in the user interface of the application itself. Again, logging in with the user credentials, and we would like to create a new recording job. Let's call it the recording for my customer. All right, on the left-hand side, you see a drop-down list of all the available high-frequency data points. And we are interested uh, in the encoder values of machine access one, two, and three. And as long as this is kind of a cryptic string, we'd like to add some comments that could be easily read by your customers. So it's actual value X, Y, and Z axis. All right, then we save this pre so-called prepared recording job. Going to activate it and give it a first try while hitting the play button. So now he starts recording some data points. Oh, something went wrong. Ah, I guess it's all about the trigger settings. So let's go back to the job itself. And let's have a look at the triggers. Ah, yeah, there it is. So he set the wrong trigger. And by the way, there are a couple of more triggers available, like uh, trigger on a dedicated high frequency data point. So maybe when spindle torque reaches some limits, you can start a capturing job. Or you can trigger as well on a NC block or NC code inside an existing NC program, so without changing it. But let's stick to the manual triggers for now. Again, save all that stuff. Enable and hit the play button again to verify that all of our changes are correct. All right, seems so. So when everything is fine, then you can just export this so prepared recording job and send it to your customer. So the, what, the, what the customer does is now using the import functionality of Analyze My Rookies Capture and imports the recording job right away. And having a look at what's coming in, you can see that the very same configuration, the very same data is now at your customer site. And he can just activate and run a very first initial recording job while the, manuf the machine manufactures the particular part. All right, let's assume everything is done. So first recording job is finished. Customer is sending the data set to you. And now let's have a look at what's in here. So there is a JSON file containing a lot of data and information, as you can see here. So kind of unstructured data. So it's kind of it's hard to do some analytics on that. That's why we would rather use Analyze My Workpiece toolpath desktop software to have a closer look at these kind of data. So we can open the JSON file here and see a 3D model of the two assembly point path in the main screen, in the main window. And we can add some color code according to the toolpath velocity to this 3D model and see that the red areas, the tool is moving fast and in the green and blue and yellow areas, it's not that fast. Blue means nearly zero. So the whole machine stops for a moment to go around the corner. So this is not efficient. So the advice could be that the customer shall smooth in the corners with some NC programming, some specific NC programming, and creates a second data set that we can load in parallel to analyze my with two path. And with the optimized values, we can see that the toolpath itself is more smooth and there are less blue and 
green colors, more red. And at the end of the day, this means that the overall manufacturing time for this part is much faster and product the productivity is higher. Okay, now let's assume the customer is happy, but he heard something about the universal machine and technology in the face, the UMATI, as kind of a new standard to connect machines in a standardized way. Sure, we can do that with Cinematic Edge as well. We just use the OPC UA server of Cinematic Edge and are able to send the data according to the UMATI standard to the outside world. Again, we're starting with installing the necessary system components or interfaces. So we are selecting the OPC UA server of Cinematic Edge, which is the correct version, accept the terms and conditions, and initialize the download and installation process with hitting the confirm button. So when the download is finished, we need to install a local instance of the OPC UA server and set it into the run modus. All right. So what we need in addition is a transformation application, it means an application that you can create uh, out of the app SDK, based on an example we are delivering as well, to collect data from your particular machine to transform the data and hand over this data to the OPC UA server that afterwards sends the data according Umati to the outside world. That's how it works. And in my case, I choose an example application we prepared and before starting this application, I will have a look at the configuration itself because the configuration carries the UMATI information model definition as well as additional information that are maybe not part of your machine, maybe a machine that is already installed since a long time and doesn't provide specific information required by UMATI interface like the manufacturing year or the location itself, some static information that are important could be added using this configuration mechanism as well. All right, let's keep in mind Bad Neustadt, Germany. So we save all that stuff and set the application into run. All right, if everything works fine, then we can now see the values in an external application. I am using the Unified Automation UA Expert application. That's kind of a client application being able to communicate with OPC UA servers. So the IP address of our Cinematic Edge device is here port number for the OPC UA server, and we have to provide the login credentials as well. And then you can see on the left hand side the tree view of the UMATI information model. So let's pick some values to have a closer look at it. Ah, there it is, Bad Neustadt, Germany, maybe you remember. Let's have a look at something else, so it's software version from our controller. And let's go to the channel because I would I'm interested in the in channel mode and the overall operation mode of the system. Oh, right now we are in an automatic mode. And uh, the, the user by accident switched to jog mode. It's coming back to automatic mode again. And obviously he started the NC program. So you see, it's quite easy to add the UMATI standard to your machines and to keep it up to date using our infrastructure. So these are just a few examples there are a lot of more we are working on. So let's listen what our customer says. My name is Bernd Zapf and I am bei der Gebrüder Heller Maschinenfabrik GmbH für die Entwicklung New Business and Technology zuständig. Die Synomeric Edge Plattform ermöglicht es uns als Firma Heller, unseren Kunden neue Softwarelösungen und Services anbieten zu können. So haben wir mit dem App SDK eine eigene Edge Entwicklung, das heißt sie Local entwickelt, mit welcher der Maschinen- und Anlagenzustand überwacht werden kann und welche die Ergebnisse sogar in die Cloud schickt, 
womit unser heller Service aus der Ferne helfen kann, falls notwendig. Die hochfrequente Datenaufzeichnung durch Heller für Industriefunktionen sowie Analyze My Work bis Capture nutzen wir bei unseren Kunden, aber auch in unseren eigenen Laboren, um auf Basis der so gesammelten Datensätze Erkenntnisse zu gewinnen, die uns und unseren Kunden helfen, die täglichen Herausforderungen zu meistern. There's nothing left to say. So let me invite you to join our journey in terms of digitalization. Use the Cinematic Edge to realize your business models, to add new technologies to your customers. Just use the full power of Cinematic Edge to make your dreams come true. I hope that you're convinced right now and thanks very much for listening.